Hello there. Today, we're attempting to load and play. <laughs> no, we're not actually. We're not. <laughs> yeah, I've got the camera in my hand, as you can probably see as it wobbles about. Um, yeah, we've got Castlevania Chronicles on the TV, as you can probably see. Uh, I thought we'd put this one on because this was the very, very first game I ever covered very, very badly on my channel. Yeah, but what we're doing today is we're going to have a look around the games room. I've not wanted done one of these for ages. I did mention in a video early on in the week that I was going to do this. You can see me there, look. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look around the room. Um, I did one of these ages back, but I think I, think I had about 30 subscribers then. So uh, things have moved on. The room's changed and... Uh, and a few people actually do watch these now, so so we're gonna have a look round. <laughs> yeah, so get with me as I shift my butt. Right, we'll we'll start we'll start here. So this is my main playing area. I have a big sofa here, which which was a bit of a waste really, because there's only me ever sits on it. <laughs> as you can see from the the uh, dent in the cushion in the middle. So in front of that, I have my displays. I have uh, a little black and white telly that uh, belonged to my parents many moons ago. I've had that from new. Uh, we've got my uh, my Vectrix there, which I got just before Christmas, and uh, it's awesome, great fun. And then we have my main main telly, uh, which all the consoles are plugged into. And then at the side of that, we have my N64 running on uh, 32 inch, I think it is, or 36. Can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Kieran keeps going on at me because I never play on it. <laughs> I will get round to it. I do intend to play on these machines a lot more this year. So, uh, yeah, consoles. So we have, over here, we have uh, a master system, which is connected to the little telly. There. Uh, I don't play on that. Uh, because down here, I've got uh, a Mega Drive with a Master System converter, so I tend to use that. Yeah, because uh, it gives uh, the, the Master System two just only gives out the uh, the cable connection unless you mod them. So uh, I just I don't use it. It's just there for the little telly. Yeah. So we've got the Meg the, Se the Sega Mega Drive that I use as a Master System. <laughs> Next to that, we've got the Panasonic 3DO, which I've hardly touched. Yeah, I really need to spend some more time with that. Next to that, we have my PlayStation 1, which I've got a lot of love for. Above that, we have uh, an NES, a Nintendo, and a Sega Saturn, which I also need to spend more time on, because I think that's been turned on two or three times. All these consoles are connected to this... Uh, I think it's a Belkin uh, scout box. There you can see auto switching thingy doobry. So that's all them going up to the big telly. And then in this drawer here, we have controllers for all these. <laughs> yeah, loads of all mingled up. Every time I want one, it's always uh, screwed up beneath another. <laughs> yeah, pain in the ass. Oh, right. Old knees. Over here. We have a PlayStation 3, a Wii, an Xbox 360, uh, a Crystal Xbox, which I think is a great com console. A lot of love for the old Xbox. Yeah. Next to that, we have an NES and a Super Nintendo uh, Mini, which, uh, which are great fun. Yeah. Yeah, mod them and uh, just fill them up. <laughs> yeah. PS2, which I've spent very little time on and then they again are all connected to the big telly above below them I have my pioneer amp which all the consoles run through it gets amazing sound quality because back in the day I'd have played all these consoles on a little portable mono te uh, TV and it's nice now to hear what sound quality the actual old machines did have so here we have my, uh, my graphic equalizer and if you can just see it there hiding on top my uh, Amiga CD32, which is an awesome machine. A lot of love for that. And then over here, we have my real Super Nintendo. My very rarely played on N64. To be honest, so far I've not got a lot of love for the N64. I prefer the Super Nintendo. I, I, I think uh, a lot of games look very, very ugly on the N64. But 
to be fair I do need to spend more time with it next to that's a very yellow Dreamcast which is one of the few consoles here that's actually one I've had from new most of these have been replaced over the years below that's another one I've not spent much time with yet the GameCube and then here is my uh, Mega Drive and my Mega CD which Mark from Mark Fixer's stuff kindly mended for me <laughs> last last week yeah so I've been, been spending a lot of time with that it's a, it's a cracking machine <laughs> some really cheesy games but some good ones as well these all run through these two doobries here scart boxes and also all up to the big telly so we've got another drawer and in the drawer again it's just loads of controllers all mixed up together yeah <laughs> that's that and then in the drawer above here I have my Amiga A600 which uh, has a WHD loader inside so it has most of the games pre-installed uh, that's two meg extra memory and I think there's one meg underneath as well you need extra memory to run the uh, the loader and then next to it's my baby my ZX Spectrum which I, I love that's what I started with well actually it's not I started with a 48k plus but I haven't got one of those <laughs> not yet <laughs> so this is my main playing area so now I'm going to show you around the rest of the room so over here we have uh, a Metroid uh, I can't remember what they're called it's a Metroid thingy that my good friend Benny Williams uh, sent me uh, which I love love stuff like that next to that we've got a Halo uh, statue that I got uh, from game a couple of years ago they were selling them off in the Black Friday thing too cheap to let go to be honest and then behind that we've got me uh, me internet thing which doesn't work it shouldn't have a purple light I've tried shouting at it I said shout blue but it doesn't work so yeah I'm going to have to get somebody cleverer than me to sort that out <laughs> yeah and then over here we have some Formula 1 stuff probably not of any interest to anybody watching this but to, it's, it's my video so you'll have to watch um, yeah so there's a lot of Jensen cars in here because I was a big fan of Jensen there we go all the way down so a couple of McLaren's at the bottom uh, and a big speaker there as well yeah and then over here we have a blind that my wife had made for me um, Space Raiders on the ZX Spectrum great fun uh, love the blind to be honest though it could be painted up windy because I never open it <laughs> yeah yeah a couple of F1 bits signed picture from Jensen and a Damon Hill limited print from his first win so that's this section let's let's go over here so over here uh, I'm sure you've all seen this but I'm going to show you it again this is my three screen Xbox 360 racer that I've spent a lot of time on recently as you can see it's parked up waiting for me to tackle another racetrack <laughs> probably crash yeah proper racing seat and as I said in the tutorial video all connected to three 360s and a switchy thing yeah so that's that down here we have spares you never have too many spares so spare consoles spare consoles yeah I did have more but I've, I've, I've had a cull because uh, you, <laughs> you can only have too many only have too many and then in here we have spare controllers and bits and bobs and spare steering wheels and whatnot uh, PS1 steering wheel boxed and a Darth Vader helmet <laughs> uh, they are guitars for the Xbox 360 I do like guitar here though I do like to unleash my, un my inner un rock god every now and then and then over here is my mask truck that's uh, Lee Cunningham from uh, the shop uh, Saw Thrums, Thrums in York uh, gave me uh, used to love mask uh, it, it did it does still need a couple of bits but I'm, I'm getting there uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the shelves. So this is on my box stuff. Yeah, that'll work as well along. So box to Mega Games, an original PlayStation, Space Crusade, the board game, epic board game, epic game actually. It's one I do intend to cover in the future on the Amiga and the Spectrum. Uh, yeah, that's my board game from when I was a kid. 
Next up we have Atlantis, which is also a good fun game, and Elixir, which I've also had for a long, long time. It's a bit like Monopoly. No, it's not. It's a bit like Cluedo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ulysses DVDs I got last year. Uh, some Monopolies, some more steering wheels, and then here's the boxes for my consoles, as you can see there. Our room. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Over here we've got an original Kenner Millennium Falcon. It's a bit yellow, but I like it as it is. And a TIE fighter. <laughs> so that's my room. Let's have a look at the shelves. What we got? We got uh, a PSP, a Negon controller that I uh, Neg Con Negon. I can never say it. Yeah, pick that up. I'm going to be doing some videos on that in the future. So now we'll, I'm going to work my way down. If there's all that takes your fancy that you'd like to see in a future video, uh, just put it in the comments section. Um, there is a fair bit of filler still in here. <laughs> yeah, but they will have to come out soon because I am starting to run out of room. Yeah, all the FIFAs will have to go. Um, collecting, what do I collect? I collect what I had as a kid, what I wanted but never got around to picking up, uh, what I missed altogether but it's supposed to be brilliant. And that's my collecting. So that's PlayStation 1 and then down here we have my Spectrum tapes. I love the ZX Spectrum and I love picking up the cassettes. I mean you don't need them now, you can just emulate on the original machines the software and it's easier to be honest than spending hours shouting at the tapes but I just love I don't know something down here we have uh, three homebrew titles I got from uh, George Cropper's uh, website bumfum.com yeah odd name but there is a reason if you go on the website it's got some great homebrew titles I do recommend checking them out uh, Ooze is probably my favourite game of last year. Brilliant title. Uh, these are some more homebrew titles. These come from Chronosoft, as you can see, it says it all there. More specky tapes. More specky tapes. I do, in, in the future, intend to spend a lot more time going through these. Uh, over the last year I've been buying stuff that that rapidly that <laughs> I, they just get put to one side and never played on which is a shame because that's not what my room's about my room I'm not a collector for collecting's sake I collect to play so I intend to play on these down here we have my uh, original Sinclair TV and three plus twos there's the original grey plus two and two black ones so I've got four now, but you can never have too many. Uh, and then down there is some Beyond Software. I really love the artwork on these. Yeah. There's my ZX81 that I still haven't got round to mending. Uh, a very tired uh, 48k rubber key that I think I'm going to reshell. Yeah, I think I am. And then here we have some uh, Super Nintendo uh, uh, arcade sticks. Yeah, and uh, a Mega Drive one as well, which I never think to plug in. <laughs> I really ought to give them a bash. I bet they're great on shooters. Uh, what else we got? Here we have an original Game Boy. And some boxes. Boxes. Nintendo boxes. And then over here we have my boxed Sega Game Gear. And uh, loads of games. I think about 90% of them I've never, I've never played on. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to feel a bit bad doing this video actually because I, I've not played on enough of this stuff. Uh, here's my NES collection. Very small. Not got any history with the NES at all. Um, I've played Mario Brothers. Uh, I think that's supposed to be a bit pricey. I dropped on that. And, uh, and I've got this as well. I really like this. 
Final Fantasy for the PlayStation on the NES. Yeah, my blows your mind a bit. <laughs> yeah. Small N64 collection. As you know, I've not played on these. I will get round to it, I promise. <laughs> and then here we go over to my Super Nintendo collection. I don't collect boxed Super Nintendo games. I gave up. Uh, it was just madness. So I put them in VHS boxes. So a lot of these actually have instructions because what I've done is I flogged the box to pay for other games. Uh, yeah. So I think they look nice and tidy in the VHS cases. Um, you know, you can still print the covers out. And I, I think they look great. So that's how I store and collect them. <laughs> yeah, and it's cheaper. Yeah, so here's my original Xbox collection. A lot of love for the original Xbox. Don't have that many games for it yet, but I do keep picking them up. Um, yeah, there's some really good titles. Serious Sam, that's good fun. <laughs> it's mad. And then over here we have the newest, one of the newest systems I collect for when I see them. Because they're getting cheap as chips now. Uh, the Xbox 360. Which is probably the last machine I enjoyed playing on as I worked my way from machine to machine. Uh, I've got the Xbox One. Uh, it doesn't do anything for me whatsoever. And then we've got a boxed PlayStation 1 gun. That's never been out of its box. And some box specky tapes. And then below that, what we've got below that, we've got PS3. PS3 below that. Uh, I've not played any of these. I've not even turned the PS3 on. Uh, have I played? Yeah, I've played one. I tell a lie. I played. Uh, I can't remember. Last of Us. Yeah, I played Last of Us. Football. I hate FIFA. <laughs> They're definitely to go. Yeah, there's my PS3, and then that moves on to the GameCube, uh, a system I've spent very, very little time on. Um, get a better view for you there. Again, I don't have many. You don't often see them in the wild anymore. Judge Dredd. I enjoy Judge Dredd. Brilliant game. Not played this version. I've played it on the Xbox, but I don't think it'd be very different. And then next to that is me. Uh, a teeny tiny uh, Saturn collection. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, I, again, you don't see many about now. You have to pay. You have to pay decent money. Master System. Titles there. That's, 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 that's the lot. And then PS2, which I have got quite a lot because they're just everywhere. Um, Again, there is some crap. I don't think I'll be playing... Uh, what's that? Britney's Dance Beat. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing that one. <laughs> but there is some really good titles as well. I really do... Really do need to spend some time... Playing some of these games. Instead of... Uh, I don't know... Instead of just faffing about. Because that's what I tend to do down here. I faff about. <laughs> so that's my PlayStation selection. And over here we've got three big box Spectrum games. Batman the Cape Crusader is, in my opinion, one of the best pieces of artwork for a game box. I love that box. And then over here we've got a few bits. Uh, Original data recorder that I use sometimes if I have the uh, rubber key wired up. Some joysticks, uh, some more games, and then we'll go back down and have a look at me. Mega Drive. Mega Drive. Again, like I said at the start, if there's anything you'd like to see in videos in the future that you spot as I'm badly showing you what I've got do feel free to uh, to put a comment and we'll look at it in a future video 
I really do like the Mega Drive. I never had one as a kid. I had the Super Nintendo. And if you'd have asked me five years ago, I'd have said the Super Nintendo was the better of the two. But I don't agree with myself now. I feel like the Mega Drive. It's a brilliant machine. And then down here with a few bits. PlayStation 1 mouse, which is good for the uh, games like Discworld. And uh, uh, that's a tape player out of a Spectrum Plus 2. <laughs> uh, and then down here we have my, uh, my little Dreamcast collection. It's not as big as Mark's. My friend Mark has a full Dreamcast collection that I like to go and look at. <laughs> yeah. Although a lot of these have come from Mark. In fact, a lot of my shelf stuff's come from Mark. Uh, yeah, always buying bits and bobs off him. Over here we have my Mega CD collection. It's not very big, but um, at least I get to play on it now. <laughs> yeah. And then this is Amiga CD32. Uh, Panasonic 3DO. And then these are just old PC games. So that's my shelves, apart from one last section, which I'm going to which I've saved till last. Yeah, this, this might look a bit odd, especially for someone who hates Dizzy so much, but these these two shelves are games that I've, I couldn't just shelve, if that makes sense. These are games that friends have sent me uh, that I wanted to keep out. Um, for example, uh, my friend Andre Russell sent me Fantasy World Dizzy, so I had to play it. Uh, Simon McGuinness sent me the Specky Dizzy collection here. So again, I played them. <laughs> yeah. Um, Frank Bruno boxing and the little the little badge was sent to me by my friend Christian Van Tilburg when I was poorly with ear infections last year. Um, what else we got here? Kieran Bow sent me uh, give me Arabian Nights on the Amiga, which is one of my favourites, and it's a lovely box. Um, my friend Paul sent me Elf last month. Uh, this here, Sentinel, was given to me by Baz Harding and was part of his original collection, uh, a game he bought back as a kid. So that means a lot to me, yeah. And then uh, finally in the front here, this was sent to me by Rod Bell, Villard Such. And it's a copy of Batty. A copy of Batty, look. Which is a great game. Um, there you go, look. Can you see that? No. Lord Such presents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he sent me that. So yeah, I've, I've got these here because um, to put them on a shelf, they've just become another game. And for me, they're not just a game. I'm very grateful because people have, have sent me them. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say. This could be just waffle. It usually is waffle with me. <laughs> I'm sure you're all used to it now. So yeah, that is the games room. So please feel free to comment what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, yeah, eventually all these shelves will be full. And when they're full, for me, that's it. I will stop, because I've nowhere else to put them. <laughs> yeah, the only bit of room I have left now is this here. And uh, hopefully, in uh, by Christmas next year, there'll be an arcade machine here. That's my last build. I'm gonna build myself an arcade machine and it's going to go in this gap. Yeah, full-size two-player thingy. So, yeah, I think you've seen it all. Um, please do comment in the comment section. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I do enjoy doing these, and I enjoy watching other people's, see how other people uh, have their collections, and why and how they collect. Yeah, so please do comment about something. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, those who did. Catch you later. Bye-bye.